So yeah, basically this video is going to be all about makeup revolution, well, kind of. I didn't buy every single makeup revolution product. There is a little bit of cheeky other products, but I bought a few makeup revolution products. Um, I've got concealers, the foundation, the eyeshadow palette by Soph, and some highlighters. So yeah, I thought I'd try them out in this video. I did ask on Instagram whether you wanted to see a little YouTube video um, explaining about them, whether I like them or not. And um, yeah, I um, hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because it'll mean the world to me. <laughs> um, yeah, basically I make like makeup tutorials and stuff like that on here. Yeah, and also if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos testing out makeup products then please give it a like down below all that jazz goes a long way look at my thumb oh my god <laughs> i never realized how bad it was people always say i got a bendy thumb and that looks oh my god that looks awful doesn't it ah oh oh anyway let's get on to the video okay so the first thing i bought from um makeup revolution so this is from the pro so i'm assuming they have yeah, so they have like two different sections in Makeup Revolution. There's the normal Revolution and then there's a Pro um, collection as well. So this is from the actual Pro collection. It's just a brow pomade in the shade Ebony. So this was only £5. So obviously like compared to Anastasia Beverly Hills, what's that like? I can remember I used to buy that for like 15 quid and now it's going up and up so I think it's like 17 pounds something now which is ridiculous. Please, yeah, please don't judge. Um, I've literally had these ever since I started my YouTube channel again about two months ago. Um, I have had one infill but I really need them taken off now. This one's like literally going. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> how have I opened the box like that? What on earth? I literally like this when I get deliveries and that, so I like, I just rip it open, I don't do it neatly. Um, so yeah, why I've done that, I don't know. Okay, so it comes in like a similar pot to the Anastasia, it's made out of glass, it looks really professional to be honest. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, look at my nails, they're absolutely rank. And then it comes in a pot like that, so like obviously for £5, that's really high quality. So obviously, first impressions, it is quite creamy, and um, it might be because it's literally brand new. I know, like, any eyebrow pomade, they can dry out. I'm going to use the back of my hand just to warm up the product. It's not as pigmented or as heavy as the Anastasia pomades, but to be honest, I'm kind of liking that kind of style um, of brow lately. I'd like to be able to see my actual hairs as well. So, yeah. For £5, that's done the job. It's really nice. I like the colour as well. It's kind of similar to my hair colour. I don't like to go really black, but I like to go um, in between. Next product I bought was the concealer. This is from the um the, po <laughs> the pro range as well. It's the full cover camouflage concealer. So it looks like this. So yeah, obviously as soon as I seen this, it reminded me of the P. Louise base. If I get that out to you, this is a bit dirty, but so it's like similar, like kind of scooty tube, and. Um, I'm actually quite scared. I'm going to use this as my base for shadows and I'm really scared because I live for the Pretty Waves base and I don't ever do an eyeshadow look without that. So I'm risking it today and I'm going to use this and give it a go. I got this in the shade C2 which I found is similar to um, the shade Rumour in the Pretty Waves base which I use. Okay, so I'm taking the Zoeva 144 Soft Concealer Brush and I'm just going to carve out my brows with this and then make sure the whole eye space is covered. Ok, 
Okay, so that shade is exactly the same as um, Roma 2 by P. Louise. Like, I would say identical. And if I'm honest, this is pretty much the same texture. It's quite thick and it's quite um, tacky as well. Which, obviously, for an eye base, that's what you need to make your shadows stick. Oh my gosh, I'm actually quite impressed with how well that's applying. For some reason, when I'm applying it, it's like really warm. <laughs> I don't know whether it's just because I'm warm today, but... Okay, so, first impressions. I'm actually really liking this, and this was only £5 as well, so absolute bargain. The P. Louise one is £10. So, yeah, obviously we'll see now how well it works, um, how the eyeshadows stick to it and all of that, but at the moment I'm really liking this. So I've just done the other eye as well, and I'm just tapping the product in um, before we go in with the eyeshadows, but literally um, that at the moment, before I put my eyeshadows on, I'm going to give that like a solid 9 out of 10. It's actually really nice and considering the, um, the price as well, it's super full coverage, it's applying really nicely. And yeah, loving that at the moment. So I'm just going to make sure the edges are blurred and blended. Product I bought. This was just from the normal Revolution range. This is the Soap palette. And it's so mirrory. <laughs> the only thing about this, look at the fingerprints. Oh, no. Extra spice. It has 18 ultra professional eyeshadows. And what else does it say on here? It's cruelty free and vegan. So yeah, that was £10. Um, really pretty. The only thing is, it's just going to get dirty because when you're picking it up, you're just going to have your fingerprints everywhere. Like you can see, I haven't even used this yet and my fingerprints are everywhere. So um, that's, just, that's just me though, because I'm really messy. But, and then you have all these eyeshadows. So I'll do a close up. So yeah, they're really pretty. You've got all your warm tones here. And then obviously some cool shades down here. Um, these shades are like appealing to me more, like the sunset colours are lush and then you have a few shimmers as well, so yeah, a mix of the matte shadows and shimmer. So obviously I'm not going to swatch these because um, this palette's been out a while now, so if you just type in into Google um, soap um, extra spice palette swatches, I'm sure it'll come up for you. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Enchanted, which is that shade here. So I'm just pressing Enchanted into the crease as our first colour. And the pigmentation is really nice. Um, I'm just going to see how they actually blend together. The next shade I'm going in with is 21, which is like the raspberry pinky colour. Taking on a clean 2-1 by MAC. And I'm just tickling the edges of Enchanted. Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think talking just makes me so out of breath. I don't know why. Okay, so that at the moment is really nice. It's, um, the shadows are really pigmented, they're blending nicely together. I'm just going in with the dark shade again just to make sure they are all blended. Take the yellow, which is called Vitamin C. I'm just tickling the edges of the pink. Pink, ready colour, 21. <laughs> So all the yellow is doing really is turning the pink shade a little bit more orange, um, which is fine. Like obviously when you blend colours together, they can change, but yeah, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> the eyebrow pomade is starting to fall off a little bit. I'm just going to go back in a little bit there. 
So I'm just going to go back in with the shade 21. Back in with Enchanted. So far so good, it's just taken me a while to like go back in with the colours just to build up the intensity of them. And that, like if you've got plenty of time to blend your eyeshadows then yeah, it's a really nice palette for £10 as well. Um, they're all blending nicely on top of the that concealer as well so yeah, so far, so far so good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back with the other eye. So they take ages to blend. I don't know whether it's because of the concealer that I used as the base. Um, maybe I'll give it a go next time with like the P. Louise base or something. But I don't know whether it's this or the actual shadows. It's just taken ages. <laughs> taking ages to blend. I mean, I don't fancy it spending... Like, I, I take ages on my makeup as it is. I don't really need the hassle of taking more time to blend. Oh, hi, Sienna. Hi. I want to say hi to YouTube. Oh, Where is she? Hi. Are you like a baby? After a cuddle with Sienna. <laughs> She's literally so cute. I love her so much. Um, so, yeah. Um, other than, oh my gosh, see, look at that. I think it's a base. Maybe it's too wet. I think it might be this that is causing the problems because I don't know if you can see it, but I have a white line now. Oh well, to be fair it doesn't matter too much about that because that's where I'll um, cut my spot out anyway. So I'm going to go back in with it, may as well give it another go. Um, I'm taking this on the same concealer brush by Zoeva. With the shade Enchanted. I'm just pressing that on the outer and the inner corner. Like so. That concealer I've transferred again, so I'm just going to go up higher. I think. I, like I get on with this concealer but I think it's just really really wet. <laughs> I take the shade, I don't know whether to go for this one or the yellow down here. I'm going to try the, the yellow so it's called LA Sun. So it's just one of the shimmers from the palette. Mm, just pressing that onto the lid where we cut out our spot. Oh that's lovely actually giving me like holiday vibes, the sun is shining and we now have a sun on our lid, loving life. Right now to just blend out the dark colour enchanted in with the yellow and take in mulled wine. I used to call this, <laughs> I used to call mulled wine mulled wine but Someone corrected me and I now, no, now call it mold, mold. <laughs> can't even say it now, now call it mold wine. Okay, so I'm really happy with it, no one, if you can see. So I've just done the other eye and popped some lashes on. Um, I, not gonna lie, like I do like the palette. Um, but I'm not sure whether this is just not making it as easy to apply. But that shadow didn't give me any fallout at all to be honest so I'm just going to go with um, into the foundation now. I'm just going to go straight into skin and um, so I've been meaning to try this for like months like literally since they've brought it out really so it's just a giant version of the concealer so it's like huge and um, obviously this is a foundation what is that <laughs> what is that <laughs> i've never seen a foundation like this before i've seen this before um 
So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this to my face. Oh. Don't know whether this shade is gonna be a bit light for me, but <laughs> never mind. So weird applying this with a stick. <laughs> just funny, you know. Uh, the what colour was that again? Yeah, F8.5. Oh my gosh, way too light for me. <laughs> way too light. It's similar to a MAC um, NC, NC25, I'd say. But. Oh well, I'm just gonna try, try and blend it out. I can use bronzers, can't I? So I'm just using the Olivia Hale contour brush just to blend that in. Okay, that I've just blended so nice and it's obviously super full coverage. I could go in with like a little bit more to make it a bit more extra but obviously you can see this is just way too light for me. I don't know if you can see but I've had like loads of breakouts. It's not like, I wouldn't say this, they're like under the skin pimples but it's where I normally apply highlight so I don't know whether it's because of that but I don't know, it's just weird having them on my cheek up here. Oh god, I can't take myself serious with how white I, my face looks. <laughs> oh for god's sake. Goodness gracious me. Right, I'm just going to have to pile on the bronzer. Right, all in all, this is a good foundation. However, I've just picked the wrong colour completely, haven't I? But I'm just going to make it work. So I've actually tried these before, so I'm kind of cheating. But, um... I thought I'd use it anyway, so it's the Revolution Conceal and Collect, and I have two, so I have one in C5, and then another one in the shade Banana, I really like this one, because it's like a light um, highlighting under the eye, obviously I have tried this before, and I do know it's full coverage, and um, yeah, I actually really like this concealer, and I think this was only £5 as well, the foundation was £9 before I forget, yeah that was £9. Yeah, I do really like this concealer. It's really, um, the colour banana is really brightening as well. It's like, acts as like a highlighter. This over the foundation, I bought the shade Liquid Champagne, which is like a nice goldy colour. It's another focus, is it? Yeah, so that's what that one looks like. And then the darker one is called Liquid Lesser Gold. So it's just more of like a bronzy one. I'm sure this is like nice all over the body. I'm just taking a little bit and I'm taking the Peaches and Cream PC10 brush and I'm just pressing product in so I'm not swiping it or anything I'm literally just pressing it into that foundation the glow and I think it's going to make the powder highlighter pop and dry I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me powder Bronze up this pale face. <laughs> I'm gonna hope for the best and see if it makes a difference. I'm going in with Dark Town by MAC. And I'm literally just gonna pop this on my cheekbones, but also like I'm gonna bronze it up everywhere. Okay, so I feel like that I've made a slight difference. <laughs> yeah, I kind of match a little bit now. Um, yeah, that's just going to have to do really. So I've literally just applied a lot of bronzer, a bit too much, but never mind. I have to try and match my chest. <laughs> um, so yeah, dark tan saved my life right now. So I'm just going to go in with the powder highlight. This is a strobe highlighter. By, yeah, this is the normal Revolution range, and this is in Gold Addict. Yeah, obviously, it looks super nice. 
pretty. Yeah, it is nice to be fair. So I'm going to take my favourite brush for highlighter. This is the Peaches and Cream PC 17 brush. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, love that. Pretty sure that was only £5 as well. Loving that. So I'm going to go in with Infinity by the Soap Palette and take an hour on just a pencil brush. And then popping that in the inner corner. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. And that gives it a little bit of extra colour and pop. What lips, so I'm just going to go in with my favourite lip liner. This is Strip Down by MAC. Um, Myth Lipstick by MAC, so it's just a really pale nude. The Huda Beauty Metallic Lip Gloss is in the shade Ritzy. I'm going to take the liquid highlighter, but this is like the darker shade. So this is um, less of gold. Um, I'm just going to pop this on my chest. And then I'm just going to take a stippling brush. This is the MAC 187. Yeah, all in all, I do really like their products. I mean, they're really affordable. Um, Obviously, the foundation colour, I had wrong, that was my mistake. In total, it's a really nice um, full coverage foundation. The applicator, not gonna lie, that, that's a bit weird to me, like, applying that, but, you know, it's a bit different. No one else has got that. Um, yeah, everything else, I do really like. The biggest, the worst thing that I, I didn't really get on with was the full cover camouflage concealer. I'm sorry to everyone who loves this because I know everyone loves this at the moment. Um, it just don't be Pee-Wee's base at all. It's similar colour. I mean, I got the shade C2, but it made my eyelids really greasy. So I don't know whether that's because I didn't set it or I don't know. But even with the Pee-Wee's base, you don't need to set it. The shadows just cling to that product and it doesn't look greasy at all. So I don't know, I might give it another go, you know, and see if I like it, but at this moment in time, I'm not going to rate this at all. But yeah, I enjoyed um, trying new products out, so hope you enjoyed this little video, and yeah, let me know what you want to see next, and that's pretty much it guys, pretty much it. Also, my hair didn't grow overnight, these are the Lola Bell hair extensions just a good thing so yeah hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and um, if you don't already please follow my instagram at azaridmaker and yeah i will see you in my next video